All right, everybody, welcome back down to the bench. Let's try this once again. Hopefully this time it hooks up and stays. This is my entry video for the 2023 NASCAR group build. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> Indeed. I'm gonna be doing the number 24 Jeff Gordon car from Monogram. 1995 is the date that this kit was built and uh, it's a little newer than its predecessor but uh, it should still be just as much fun to put together. I'm gonna do the unboxing in this video as well, just to kind of kill two birds with one stone and get back up to uh, my own personal schedule on this build. So, without anything further, let's take a look inside the box of Monogram's number 24 Monte Carlo, driven by Jeff Gordon. Okay, let's dig right in. <clears throat> the instructions, the old monogram NASCAR kit instructions, shouldn't be anything shocking to anyone who's put these put together before. They're in black and white, so they're not exactly your greatest guide for painting, but the, this is pretty simple, this stuff. Nothing too shocking in here, nothing out of the ordinary, no different symbols than we're all accustomed to or, you know, or in any other kit. Um, nothing really too tricky if you've done one of these cars before. Uh, if you haven't, Take your time with the roll cage and the chassis. Decals look good. Not terribly thick. Um, should go on quite well. No yellowing or anything like that. Seems like the sheet has yellowed a slight amount, but the white on the decals, thank God the decals aren't clear through uh, and they are white because that, uh, that wouldn't look too, too good with some yellowed out uh, stickers there. Let's just go to the uh, clear pieces here. We got some, uh, definitely some scratching here on this, this rear window, or front window, whichever it is, the rear window. It's uh, scratched up in the center, obviously it's been sitting and rubbing. Some scratching on this one side window here. So we'll run them through the pledge uh, before we use them, obviously, to take those little micro scratches out and uh, kind of clean them all up. Onto the chrome sheet here, everything looks good. Not seeing a ton of flash. There is definitely some flash though, without a doubt, nothing too major. You can't really complain about flash. Cleaning it off is part of hobby. That's good. And we'll get into the sprue trees. We got a couple of loose pieces here. Hopefully the uh, all the parts are here. And then when the camera's off, I'll, I'll <laughs> I'll go through the parts again compared to the instructions and uh, I don't think there's anything missing. These sprues are kind of full. That rear end came off of here. I saw that. Everything's on this sprue. Looks good. There's not a lot. There is like a not unexpected inside the, uh, the window netting. There is some actually small amount of flash. Nothing too overbearing at all. <clears throat> Firewall, hood, fuel cell, back deck lid. This all looks good. I um, don't see any flashing on this. It's a little bit in some of the corners, but uh, nothing that I wouldn't expect uh, from a kid of this age. Uh, from that uh, era, I should say. Look, the valance. This car has the valance. We can build it. Here we have to take a look at the chassis base and uh, all the structure, the roll cage and the drivetrain and a wiring harness, interesting. Okay, so there's a couple things different about this than any of the other NASCAR kits I've ever built. I don't know why I don't remember that part from the 90s. It's just, it's probably just because it's been like two or three decades. Body is in great shape, molded obviously in white. Not a great deal of flash. Um, mold lines. Geez, this thing's pretty clean, actually. Um, a little bit of a rough edge down the back window ledge and across the deck lid lines here. And again, a little rough edge down here. But I mean, ooh, I caught my finger pretty good there. There's a good, uh, 
it's a good burr there. But as for molding lines, I don't, uh, I don't see any mold lines per se. Excellent, that's always a bonus. Then we got our tires. Now these are uh, <clears throat> raised letter tires and there are decals on the decal sheet for the tires as well. So obviously the onus is on me for the decision which route we're gonna go. Do we put them bald side out and put the decals on them or do we put them raised side out and dare we try and paint them? Um, I guess we'll have to wait and find out, won't we? So that's the unboxing. Everything seems to be here this time and uh, hopefully we can move forward. Um, similar to yesterday, as soon as I shut the camera off with these here, I'm gonna get organized, start cutting some parts off the sprue, and uh, we're gonna start uh, assembling this thing. So, thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for coming back and seeing entry number two. And, uh, you know, let's see how she all turns out. Have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to challenge yourself.